Good morning, degenerates, and welcome to another episode of Boring Crypto IO, a place where I read you the boring crypto news every morning, Monday through Friday, just so you don't have to. My name is Not Important, and I am your host. Let's get right into the craziness, guys. U.S. court issues mandate for grayscale ruling, paving way for SEC to review spot Bitcoin ETF. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF now listed on NASDAQ trade clearing firm, says Bloomberg. Analyst. And lastly, lastly, Lemelin, Lemelo, Lemelo, Lemelo. California bill aims to cap crypto ATM withdrawals at $1,000 per day to combat scams. Right. Guys, 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 guys. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But the market went absolutely B-A-N-A-N-A-S yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't get a video out to you. Sometimes things happen. If there was ever a time for me to put a video out, yesterday was probably it. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. All right, let's go to the market. Guys, right, I'm going to refresh this too because I'm sure things keep changing. Current market cap right now, guys, is $1.27 trillion, up almost 10% from the previous day. Guys, 24 hour volume is at $85.99 billion. That is up 125% from the day before. Current Bitcoin dump sitting at 53%. ETH dump 17.4. ETH Gway is up there a little bit. 24 Gway will get you that ETH transaction. And that fear and greed index is a swing and greedy. When is the last time we've seen it this high? I don't know if we've seen it this high since I started the channel. Uh, we are at 67. Fear and greed index, guys. Um, Yeah. It, another... From what I've gathered, besides just people FOMOing in, um, we got another uh, ETF hype, ETF leak, potential news that just sent the market ham. And I mean the entire market, guys. Um, and so we're going to blow through the top uh, 100. I'm sure there's going to be gainers and outliers and all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Bitcoin is leading the way right now at 12.82%, which is so intriguing. Bitcoin is blowing everything out of the water. Uh, Ethereum at 9.08% on the day. Um, we're going to look for anything over fives. Um, yeah, so 6.5 for Solana. I mean, I'm going to read a lot of numbers. Holy hell. Maybe we'll go over sevens because um, everything's up. Cardano 7.29. Doge 5.39, 5.43 for Matic, 12.62 for Wrapped Bitcoin, uh, 7.63 for Dot, 6.69 Bitcoin Cash, 6.31 for Avalanche, 6.54 for OKB, 7.38 for Atom, 13.82. Two for Philcoin, Filecoin, Philcoin, whatever. 8.72 for ICP. 6.73 for VeChain. 6.67 for Optimism. 9.58 for Arbitrum. 7.88 for Near Protocol. INJ, guys, we got it. If you've been watching this channel from the beginning, you know that I have been insanely bullish on INJ. And it is flipping, ripping, absolutely ripping, guys. We are up 57.5% on the week, 27.69 on the day. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And uh, on some exchanges, too, we'll look at it. It ripped up like super high to like, like $14, something like that, and then retraced back down to 10 Which, unfortunately, tells me there's a, a bit... Uh, Either people are shorting it. I don't know if you can leverage trade uh, INJ. I haven't even looked into if you can or not because I'm just holding it. But either people are shorting the shit out of it or there's just a lot of sell side pressure at that level. We'll look into it and see what we can find. Outside of that, 8.92 for stack, 7.26 for the graph, 6.8 for Algorand, 6.3 for Mutable X, 7 for Eagold. Wow. Wow. What is Mina? 92.5%. What the hell? Twenty-four 
24 hour volume, $350 million. Holy shnikes. Thor chain, 12.85%, 6.92%. 6.2 .2 for Theta, 11.29 for Decentraland. Mana, congratulations if you guys are still holding that. Uh, Metaverse stuff. Uh, 8.13 BGB, 6.71 for Synthetics, 7.66 for Kava, 12.18 for Flow. 7.78 for chilies. I mean, everything's up, guys. 17% for Rocket Pool. 17.71% for Rocket Pool. 24.94 for CFX. Might be something to look into. 11.96 for ApeCoin. Yay, ApeCoin. Whoop doop doop. 6.5 for Trust Wallet. Uh, 6.7 for Clay. 13.76 for Sui. What is it still 45 cents? That's actually a good buy. 9.54 for Casper. 8.35 for GMX. 6.93 Gala. 31.17 for Pepe. Y'all still buying effing me? Did these guys dump? Did these guys rug? Like, did two of the founders just dump? People still buying meme coins, dude. Blows my flipping mind. Look at this supply, you guys. Come on. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, compound, 6.89. 10.49 for Wu. 8.93 for Nexo. 6.38 for Dash. I cannot believe that's still around. That is a, that is a dinosaur of a token right there, guys. Uh, 10.36 for Oasis or Rose. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Rose. Um, I might do a deep dive myself on Rose and uh, see what it's about. I don't know anything about Rose. I just, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it recently. 10.35, well, ouch, just dumped. <laughs> oh, well, now we're back. 10.36 on the day. Uh, safe Pal, 13.24%. There you go, guys. All right. Bitcoin. <laughs> it looked like a meme coin chart, y'all. Look at that nonsense. Look at that absolute nonsense. Okay. First and foremost, this is not financial advice. Nor my financial advisor. I don't even know how to trade. I'm just a random dude in a room making YouTube videos, staring at screen, drawing lines. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a terrible trader. Don't pay attention to me. So. Here's what we had. This is what I was looking at yesterday too, before all the BlackRock stuff. Um, I was going to make a video and then just ran out of time. Life got in the way. I was looking at a, a mini, uh, mini flag right here on the one hour. And boy, oh boy, did this rip. It came out, it retouched, and I saw this. Like this is... I was like, oh, cool, that flag worked out, and then it ret retested this 30,080, or 30,008, which um, we've talked about. All these lines have been on my chart for quite some time. But then he here, um, at, what is that? Uh, it was last day evening, it was probably about 6 o'clock. It just flew off the handle. Um, I mean... Guys, it ripped like a meme coin, like 100%. So we got hung up here at 31.795, and then the news went ham, and this thing ripped at least on, because I pulled from Bybit, or from Bitstamp, excuse me. It ripped all the way to what? Let's call it, let's call it uh, 34,300, and then sold off. And we were like, okay, no big deal. And then the, this damn thing bounced at the 30, <laughs> the 33033 line bounced perfectly and then just kept going and now we've sold off a little bit and now we're going again which looks like we're putting in another little mini flag like i just dude flags look like that flags are such old school patterns like sometimes i don't even think they're a thing anymore let's go to the 30 minute look at it but they seem to be playing out this time around and i've told you guys there always seems to be a potential pattern that plays out more than others, others, like the cow udders. 
more than others every cycle. So this little mini flag again. Let's turn it out. Uh, the only issue I'm seeing, honestly, though, is we're losing volume. And we are really, at least on on this time frame, uh, volume starting to fall out, which isn't, which is a little concerning. We might get a, a squeeze to the downside. We'll see what happens. Um, but right now, let's just, uh, I, I don't think taking some profits off table is ever a bad idea. I definitely um, think you probably should do that if, if that's the position you're in. If you've been just like swing trading and not just building bags like I've been doing, um, it's probably a good idea. But let's look at this. Let's go to daily. Because let's see, because I mean, we're starting to run out of lines because we've been in this nonsense for quite some time. And this has been like where all of my setup is. This was the hangup we were we were worried about uh, yesterday that we might get rejected and shoot back down and start playing this game all over again. But we just blew right the shit past it. All right, so let me close. Uh, let me turn off the lines, and I want you guys to look at something. We're on the daily, all right? And we're getting hung up right here. Previous support. Previous support. Okay. And strong support. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. We lost it here, obviously. Um, after that, there's not much data to go on. Kind of resistance around in here. So here's what we're looking at, in my opinion, which is dog shit, so don't listen to me. We are trying right now to flip this into support. If we do flip to support, we might chop a little bit, but we could chop all the way up to 48K, just based on this previous price history, okay? So what we're gonna do, all this shit can go away now. This diagonal lines. We're gonna put a line right here. Like literally right where we're at. There's previous support. Boom. I don't want that red. We're gonna make yellow. I want you a little bit thinner than that. Spoink. And that's where we're at right now. And then we've got some chop. We've got a little bit of resistance there. So we'll put an orange line right there. I'm gonna open this up a little bit too. So I can see what the shit I'm doing. Okay. Open up. We got a little bit of resistance right here. We got orange. I would say our next level is probably strong wise, right? It's gonna be right there of resistance. Okay, those are all resistances. All right. Resistances. Okay. I might have to go back and clean it up, but I'm kind of working fast. Uh, but let's go back to the four. Let's see what we got going on. Gotta flip that. So 34, 5, 4, 4 ish. Because none of these are like the guys, it, all of these price targets and things like that, and these, these strength and resistance levels change per exchange you're looking at. But what I do see is we hit it once, got rejected, we're hitting it again and getting rejected. There's a potential rollover. If we do rollover, fine. Guys, we've ripped to, people will take profits. Be prepared for a pullback. What is a pullback at this point in time? If this isn't bullish sentiment, then I don't know what is. Any pullback right now is an entry point. 
That's it. That's all you're looking at these as. These are entry points. A bounce up 33033. Get in. Start start dollar cost averaging. Look for a bounce. If we bounce off of this 33033, bullish guys. Again, if we if we pull back the 31795, get in. These are all buying levels. Even 30,000. If we come all the way back down and retest 30,000, you know for a fact people are going to buy the hell out of it. Get in. Not financial advice. Um, we're going to blow through some other coins just for fun. Uh, this is a flag I had on XRP that ripped. Um, perfect. I mean, that's a beautiful flag. Four hour, absolutely perfect. Uh, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, rip, retest, see you later, bye. And now we're retesting this 54040 uh, level and bouncing. Good job, guys. Uh, I post this on my personal account, which eventually one of these days I'll let you guys know who I am. I'm just kind of, not that I keep it super quiet. Sometimes I say my name because I'm not even paying attention. But yeah, I'm just trying to stay anonymous, guys. A lot of people who talk about crypto get a lot of heat. It's just not something I'm feeling right now. But this is a flag I post on my personal account. If you got in, congratulations. High five ride that beach um right here uh trading view i know we're not really talking about the news too much guys we're really talking about the charts because this is what's going on posted this article uh yesterday done deal xrp price explosion to ten dollars in the cards i think it's possible i think anything under twelve dollars um you know i'll say this i think anything under ten dollars is fudge for xrp what is the XRP market cap right now? Oh, XRP market cap right now is 29 bill. I mean, BNB is beating XRP, which is absolutely insane. Um, tokens that I think even Binance is like looking at scaling out of, right? They're not even going to be doing anything. So I honestly believe without a question, uh, XRP can get up to uh, Ethereum's market cap where it's at right now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why it wouldn't. With all the suppression and all the good news now that's finally coming out about it, I easily think it could get up to there. Um, so, yeah, I think ten dollars, anything under ten dollars, would probably be fun for extra people. That's my opinion. Don't listen to me. I could be wrong. This is why you always take profits. Uh, ETH, rippy rip rip. These are all old lines and and levels i've had we're bouncing off of that 18 nice psychological number for eth we all know that 18,000 or 1800 excuse me we're bouncing right now um next uh resistance you're gonna look at at 1862 you flip it you go uh what's cardano up to cardano's kind of ripping nice little v recovery right here bounce off of that 24 flat um again if if it rolls over because Here's the thing, Cardano does weird stuff. Um, it, it doesn't really listen to the market and it, it hasn't, especially since uh, the last cycle. It kind of does its own thing. Um, yes, it'll move if the whole market's moving a little bit, but but not like crazy, right? I, I could easily, I know it sounds crazy and it sounds bearish, but it's not bearish though. I could easily see Cardano rolling over and hitting uh, this 24.3 or 24 again. If it does get the shit in, buy. Those are just buying levels, guys. Shouldn't be fearful of a pullback. Your pullback is your entry point. As well as this is something I've been watching on Cardano for quite some time. Alright. This is descending wedge, which we're right at the top of. It's a big one. A big one. Alright. What do we got down? Let's hit the daily real quick. That's what I've been looking at on Cardano. Okay. And we are touching the top of it right now. Okay, so for Cardano, you know, guys, I don't really spend a lot of time on other coins. Um, but I figured why not, especially after the pump. We've just touched the top of this. Surprise, surprise. TA doesn't work. Nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. It's not real. We touched the top of it. We're getting close to it based on, I don't know. Fake outs, fake outs. If we break this, 
and retest. Everything is at breakout and retest, guys. You're always looking for that. If we break it, retest, we're gonna run. But like I said, do not be super shit, man. Looking at this, this thing could potentially go all the way back down. We could hit our heads here. Go all the way back down to the bottom. 21. Before we rip back up. Right? That that's always these kinds of things are always in play. But these are buying levels, guys. Don't get scared of this shit. This, this, this is... If you didn't see what the market... If, if you watched what the market did yesterday or last night, and that didn't solidify in your brain that this thing is still going to go, that any time there's a dip, it's for buying, I don't know what would. It's, it's bullish as hell, guys. So, dips are for buying, especially at this point in time. Keep that in mind. Cardano does come back down to 24, buy it. If, Car if Cardano goes, shit, man. Sub 24 Cardano or sub 20 cent Cardano. Looks real sexy. Uh, let's look at INJ one last, or uh, lastly, let's look at INJ uh, before we get out of here because I'm, I'm bullish on INJ and it's ripping. Or before we uh, get to the news. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the board today because it's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, it, I, I thought we had more time. Um, I didn't think this was going to happen this soon, but people are just frothing at the mouth for this ETF stuff. Okay. This thing ripped like out of nowhere. One giant candle right here ripped from 10 all the way up to just under 14. We'll call it. 1350 and then sold off and then we moved sideways and now we're doing it again um this was a little concerning for me which because it, it what it means is there's a lot of sell side pressure or a lot of people shorting it again i don't know if you can short inj i don't know why you wouldn't be able to through every exchange is allowing all sorts of uh, leverage trades and stuff like that these days but but we are recovering I'm pulling up pretty hard so that looks good I'm stoked on that. Again, pullbacks aren't bad. Price does not go up in a straight line. You don't want it to. It's not healthy. Um, here's the things I'm holding. Uh, just just to keep in mind so you, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm holding FET. FET took off. FET bounced off of this 21.99 cent line and said, see you later, bye. And then this is some super new stuff i don't like to put stuff on the channel because i don't want people to fomo into it so like that but it's an ai bot token um the team seems to know what they're doing they have a 105 percent staking it's super legit i've been in, been in it since it was just under a penny um this is pal and pal has just been ripping so i got in pal where this green line is. Um, I wrote it all the way up here to four cents. Took out my initial investment, so I'm writing on profit. And it, it sold off, so I was like, eh, and I'm, I'm staked up, so I can't touch it. Um, I'm completely staked up. Um, and then it bounced here at, at just, just above a penny, and it started ticking up again, and healthily, and, and very healthily slowly ticking up right i got right back in here um i, I doubled down uh, right about here and i don't know why i didn't mark that i should have marked that but oh well and it has just flown off the handle ever since um very healthy very healthy project guys um I'm not trying to give you guys gems or anything like that. I'm just showing you what I'm in. But it, it, if you're looking for something, if you're looking for something, um, let me, I don't even know what is, I mean, they're only at a $46 million market cap right now. They're, they're not even at a hundred mil. Um, we've got $661,000 in 24 hour volume, almost $2 million locked up at liquidity and almost 8,000 holders as well as you can stake. I don't know how much is staked. I think like 30% of the tokens are staked right now. Um, and they offer 105% APY for 56 days. I'm staked up. I'm gonna ride this thing through the entire market. I'm hoping this is gonna be my my big, my big meal ticket, guys. All right, 
That's enough on charts. Let's get to the news and get you guys out of here. U.S. court issues mandate for Grayscale really ruling, paving way for SEC to review spot Bitcoin ETF. The court decision was expected by many after the SEC did not appeal on August 29th, ruling requiring Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF application to be reviewed. The United States Court of Appeals has issued a mandate following a decision requiring Grayscale Investments application for a spot Bitcoin exchange triggered fund to be reviewed by the SEC uh, in an October 23rd filing in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. The formal mandate of the court took effect, paving the way for the SEC to review its decision on Grayscale spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, the mandate followed the court's initial ruling on August 29th and the SEC's failure to represent an appeal by October 13th. Uh, the October 23rd mandate reaffirmed the court's August 29th ruling, giving Grayscale a second chance at converting its Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into a listed Bitcoin ETF. To date, the SEC has yet to approve a single spot. We know this. Uh, but has given the green light to investment vehicles like Bitcoin and Ether futures. We know that. Grayscale On October 19th, Grayscale submitted a registration statement to the SEC to list shares of its Bitcoin trust in New York Stock Exchange, uh, ARCA under the ticker symbol GBTC, the investment firm, and other major companies, including BlackRock, ARK Invest, Valkyrie, all have spot Bitcoin. Okay, okay, so that was a really, we know all this. Um, here's an important point about, like, we know these are going to get approved. We know. The question is when now? And everybody is a little, this is why we're pumping. This is the only thing I can think of that why we're pumping. Um, everybody's frothing at the mouth to get in before these get approved, right? And no one knows when they're going to happen. We all thought it was going to be uh, first quarter, if not early second quarter of next year. Now it's looking like this year it could happen. Um, I've got a feeling and have been listening to people saying that potentially in November, maybe even earlier with all this nonsense going on. Because believe me, they're watching and we're buying before them. They don't want to buy at these prices. So, big takeaway from this, uh, which is the point I'm trying to get at, um, is the SEC cannot use the same excuse of why they denied it the first time. All right. So what that means is that they have to go in and find if they're going to deny it they have to find a new reason and they don't really have a lot at this point that's what's bullish about this situation um remember a while back when when uh grayscale first did this i told you they were playing 40 chess they knew exactly what they were doing as well as when they got this appeal approved they instantly put in for an Ethereum uh, ETF switch from their futures to their uh, to a spot ETF. 40 chess guys, they know exactly what they're doing. Well done for them. All right, moving on. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF now listed on NASDAQ trade clearing firm Bloomberg analysts. This is what everyone's saying caused the run. Exchange trade of fund analyst Eric Balkanis, Balkunas said the addition was all part of the process of a crypto ETF being listed and traded as a positive sign for the SEC approval. The iShares spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund. Remember what started this, this launch was the quote unquote leak fake news, fake Twitter posts that Cointelegraph post saying that it had been approved. The iShares had been approved. Um, guys, these guys, these guys can't keep their mouths shut. Everybody's everybody's waiting. Everybody wants to be first. So the iShares Bitcoin exchange traded fund proposed by investment firm BlackRock has been listed on the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, suggesting potential approval by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, and on October 23X thread, Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balkunas said the DTCC listing was all part of the process of bringing a crypto ETF to market. The iShares spot Bitcoin ETF has a ticker symbol of IBTC, nice and simple and clean, for a possible listing on the NASDAQ stock exchange which applied to list and trade shares of the investment vehicle in June. This is the first spot ETF listed on DTCC. None of the others are there yet, said Balkunas. 
Uh, definitely notable. BlackRock is leading charge on these logistics. Uh, seating ticker DTCC that tend to happen just prior to launch. Hard to not view this as them getting sign, uh, getting signal that approval is certain slash imminent. And there it is. Buy shares, Bitcoin trust shares. Yeah. Bakuda speculated that BlackRock may have already received the green light for listing the ETF from the SEC or was prepping everything, assuming so. Based on the date BlackRock's application, the SEC has until January 10th of 2024 to reach a final decision on approval or denial of the ETF. Should BlackRock's application be approved, it could lead to the floodgates open. It already is opening for a number of spot crypto ETF filings currently be reviewed by the SEC, including one from ARK Investment, Fidelity, and Valkyrie. To date, the SEC has not approved the spot Bitcoin ETH application for listing on a U.S. exchange, but started allowing investment vehicles tied to Bitcoin futures in October of 2021. We know this. No one cares. We don't care about futures. Uh, the BTCC listing followed the U.S. A uh, appellate court issuing a mandate enforcing an August 29th decision that required the SEC to review a spot Bitcoin ETF application from Grayscale Investments. Grayscale submitted a registration statement to the SEC to list shares of its Bitcoin trust on the New York Stock Exchange, ARCA, under the ticker symbol GBTC on October 19th. It's coming, guys. It's just a matter of when. This is why we've all been saying get in, at least start scaling in. And lastly, California bill aims to cap crypto ATM withdrawals at $1,000 per day to combat scams. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. California's weird. I used to live there. That's why I left. Coffee break. Give me just a second. A new legislative investigation found some crypto ATM charging a premium as high as 33%, while a few ATMs had limits up to $50,000. California legislators have proposed a new bill titled Digital Financial Asset Transaction Kiosks, calling for a cap on the crypto ATM withdrawals of $1,000 per day in light of the growing scams. Additionally, starting in 2025, the law would limit operations, operator fees to $5 or 15%, whichever is higher. Got it. 15%. Woof. Can you imagine pulling out Bitcoin and getting hit 15% and pulling out like 50 Gs? The bill, if approved, would come into effect on January 1st, 2024. The bill was introduced after legislative members visited a crypto ATM in Sacramento, it's where I'm from, and found markup as high as 33% of some crypto assets compared to their prices on crypto exchanges. On average, a crypto ATM charges fees between 12% and 25%, according to legislative analysts. Um, I'm not sure why they even care. People let people pay for the fees if they want to. Government officials also found ATMs with limits as high as $50,000, prompting them to take regulatory measure to curb such high premiums and withdraw limits. There are more than 3,200 Bitcoin ATMs in California, according to Coin ATM Radar. Democratic State Senator Monique Lamone, who co-authored the proposed legislation, said the new bill is about ensuring that people who have been frauded in our communities don't continue to watch our state step aside. Uh, when there are real issues happening. Another provision of the bill would require digital financial asset businessmen or businesses to obtain a license from the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation by July of 2025. Crypto ATMs are a popular way of people to exchange cash for their choice of cryptocurrencies, but have become a hub for scams and exploits because of their nature of transactions, i.e. hard cash. Unlike a bank and wire transfers, oh, like a bank. Sorry. Sorry, can't help myself. Unlike a bank of wire transfers, each transaction leaves less of a trail. <sighs> Some residents have recently been caught up in such scams where the scammer persuades the victim to go to the nearby crypto ATM, deposit cash for the crypto of their choice. Some of those affected by the ATM scams have launched the bill and said the low transaction limit would give victims time to realize if they've been if they are being duped reported the LA Times. On the other hand, crypto ATM businesses said the new bill would harm the small operators who must pay rent on their ATMs. Exactly. The operators uh, noted that the bill fails to address the core issue of the fraud and instead takes a punitive path focused on specific technology. I agree. Uh, they warned such a move would shutter the industry and hurt consumers while doing nothing to stop bad actors. Of course, they just want to control it. 
That's all they care about. All right, guys. Bitcoin, one last time. Here we go. Big bottle boom. Oh. <laughs> and we're getting above that new level we just put. Let's see if it holds. Let's see a little one hour. Oh, man. That looks, that looks good. Looks real good. For the seven minute. It just broke it on the seven minute. Look at this, guys. I'm telling you, Sam Price's seven minute. But over here, we had it as support. We broke back through, and we're we're doing it again. This could this could be good though. <clears throat> again, volume's looking a little weak though. We'll see what happens when the traditional market uh, wakes up here around nine o'clock. All right, guys. Outside of that, that is all I got for you this morning. Congratulations if you've been here since the bottom. Uh, by, all, by all means, guys, uh, per usual, if you do enjoy the content I provide for you here every morning on Boring Crypto IO, please by all means subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for notifications so you know when I do post videos. Please watch the videos and share the videos on all your social platforms. Above all, if there's anything you can do to help grow the channel and help spread crypto adoption, guys, like the videos. Click that thumbs up. Don't be a lazy liker. It helps. Seriously. Outside of that, I'll see you guys. Ooh. I might not see you guys early tomorrow morning. I am driving to Florida. Ooh. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do a live video. I've never done a live video. Should I do live videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, outside of that, guys, I am out of here. I'm going to try and do a video tomorrow. No promises. All right. All right that's it. I'm out of here.